my name is Louie and I'm with Premier RV of Oregon and today we are going to talk about a 2003 Country Coach Intrigue. It's got to be one of the cleanest 2003s I've ever seen. So the question is, is this the cleanest 2003 Intrigue? I think so. Well here at uh, Premier RV we're always looking for pre-owned diesels. As you can see we have a nice showroom here. Um, we carry uh, between 20 and 25 coaches. We're very picky on our inventory. And if you're in the market to sell your coach, we would love to sell it for you. Uh, this 2003 Intrigue, we're asking uh, 104,999. It's got 94,000 miles on it. It's uh, gonna have the 400 Cummins, which is an excellent engine. Um, that's the ISL. So lots of power on this coach. Um, with all the country coaches starting in 2000, they went to independent front suspension. This has a 50 degree wheel cut. Also, which is really cool about this coach is that it has a tag axle. Uh, the tag axle is going to give you more neck carrying capacity. It also allows you to turn the coach like a 36 footer because your wheelbase is much shorter. So uh, if you're looking for a coach that has an incredible amount of maneuverability, this is the coach for you. Like I said earlier, this coach has had two or three owners. Uh, it's always been garage kept and it's very evident, obviously with the paint and everything else you're gonna see today. Uh, some of the cool features I like about this coach is number one is it does have the Gerard awning, which was a $5,000 option. I really like the Gerard awning. It actually brings the fabric really low to the ground, which gives you a lot of coverage for your patio area. Some of the other cool features on this coach is that it's got really good storage. So what's really cool about the 2003 is that you have these panographic doors here that lift up and underneath you have a dual directional tray. Uh, so really easy access. There's another pass-through bay, so you're gonna have two full pass-throughs here. So as you can see, you have lots of storage. And that's what you get with a semi-monocoque chassis. You get a lot more storage down below. You also notice all your storage bays are partitioned off and they're sealed and insulated. So when you slam on the brakes, your stuff that's down here is not gonna go flying up to the front. So that's kind of cool on those semi-monocoque chassis, which basically this is a custom built chassis to eliminate the twisting and the flexing underneath and to give you more of a bus ride. So really like that feature. Back here is going to be your hydronic heat system, which is the Hydra Hot. So that's uh, much quieter than a propane system, and it'll have you get you continuous hot water for your showers also, which is a nice feature. So much quieter and continuous hot water for your showers, and actually better even flow heat inside the coach. Um, so about a ten thousand dollar feature for that. You can see the paint; everything looks fantastic. And here you're going to have your batteries. So you got two house batteries, Lifeline batteries. Those are a non-maintenance battery, probably the best batteries out there. 255 amp hours per 8D battery here. And then your cranking batteries are going to be right here. Uh, here's going to be a little service center. So your fuel separators for the engine are right here. And your house, your, your chassis disconnect switches and stuff are right here. You'll notice all the intrigues which is nice also is that these are fiberglass bay doors rather than aluminum so they insulate better uh, than an aluminum door and if you ever had to patch them up or anything you could repaint it instead of replacing the whole skirt itself if it was aluminum so really cool feature there on the intrigues on the back you'll see here the 400 Cummins engine. It's a great engine and a two-stage Jake brake. And it's a 400 horsepower with 1,200 pounds of torque with a 3,000 Allison transmission, six-speed. So, backup camera, nice mud flap. You could tell that this coach has obviously been well-maintained and taken care of. There's no rust or anything inside here. Um, like I said, this coach has been garage kept its whole life. Got your short cord here. 
So it's electric, in and out, side mounted radiator. You'll notice on all the country coach slide rooms, they actually fit inside the coach. So there's no exterior flange that fits it. It's actually gonna be recessed into the side wall. So they're gonna go for that nice clean look. Uh, the dryer vent for your washer dryer. Here's your plumbing bay. Pretty self-explanatory here. You're just your black and gray valves here and your flush system for your black tank. Water pumps behind there. The back side of the other side of the storage, like I said earlier, they're full pass-throughs. So tons of storage. You can see how the fiberglass doors shut. You know, they much better than aluminum doors, as you can see. And then right here is going to be the generator. We got an 8,000 Onan. Um, it was recently serviced. So that'll run both of the roof airs. This has two roof airs up on top for heat pumps and air conditioning. Um, and then here you basically have a lot of your slide rooms. These are all HWH hydraulic slides and it has an air leveling system and that's just a little compressor right there that so when you're parked it'll come on and level the coach if it's needed so. okay. beautiful front coach right here on the front it's all in great shape so that's it for the outside so we'll go on the inside now So we're on the inside of the coach. This is a double slide, 40 foot country coach intrigue. You can see right here, we have a sofa. This is a mix into a jackknife sofa right here. So mix into a bed. Probably has a little bit of storage here. Um, the people that had it, they ordered it with the custom computer table. So it's a nice little workstation here. Uh, you, get, you can put a little printer down here. A couple drawers, laptop, uh, these are probably little file drawers. Um, so pretty cool feature there. You'll, this is light cherry cabinets. Uh, everything on this coach is solid wood, three quarter inch. So they don't build cabinets like this anymore. Um, Let's see, some of the upgrades that have been done on the interior, they've upgraded the front TV to a smart Samsung TV. They also got rid of the drapes that were up here and they went with these electric shades. And all the shades, instead of having the day and nights, it's gonna have these pull down MCD shades. So lots of upgrades on this coach. So you can see this coach has the wall module so nice set dining room table with lots of storage on the sides here. You got the stained glass cabinet right here. Um, tons of storage. And then you'll notice over here the kitchen. This is a huge kitchen for a 40 footer. Lots of counter space. Uh, you got the sink, obviously. You got some drawers. They added the dishwasher here. And then underneath here, you got more storage. And then you're going to have the two burner cooktop here. This is propane. So, really like this floor plan with all the storage and the counter space. Um, you're also going to have your microwave convection oven here. Then you're going to have the two-door Dometic refrigerator. Little drawers underneath. And then you're going to have the ceramic tile on the floor here. 
Everything on this coach's original show, it really shows you how well this coach has been maintained over the years. We've done a lot of the surface work on this coach in the past 15 years at least. Um, so it's been very well maintained. It's going to have the padded vinyl ceilings. Um, back here, it's going to have the combo washer dryer. Good counter space here to fold some clothes. And then, of course, some storage. And it's going to have the Neil Angle shower there. And then it's going to have the, the toilet and the small little sink. That was actually a custom order from the original owner. Pretty cool. Another sink. And then back in the bedroom. Queen size bed, room on both sides, nightstands, which is nice. Lots of storage up top here. And this coach is really solid with the solid cabinets. Um, they upgraded the TV back here. It also, I think, comes out, so you have a little bit of storage there. That's kind of cool. And more storage. Oh, actually, these are breakers there. A little storage down here. That's all your 110 breakers for the coach. And then, of course, the double slide really helped out with giving you a lot more wardrobe space. And as you can see back here, you have tons of hanging space. On the top there is the sunscreens for the front windshield. I also think they had all the sunshades for the exterior windows also. On the other side here, you have all the drawer space here. So tons of drawer space here. Nice countertop here. So it's a really good floor plan. This coach is actually measures 39 feet, 10 inches. So it's actually under 40 feet. It's what we used to call being California legal because in California, you have to have a class B license if it's over 40 feet. So these were really well sought after coaches. Um, and up here, country coaches uses ultra leather on all their seats. So that's why they look so good they breathe better and they wear better than a real leather seat some other upgrades that they've done on this coach is they we installed this backup camera a much bigger screen very good visibility the original owner also put the silver leaf which is a monitoring system right here for your engine transmission miles per gallon all that good stuff is in this uh, he put it in a good location so you could see it and everything. Um, nice cup holders here. Two stage jig brake, liftable tag. Um, coach is in incredible condition. Um, and they drive like a dream. I mean, they're incredible. This coach also has the HWH air leveling, so there's no jacks on this coach. You just push this button twice and it'll do all the air leveling to keep the coach level at all times for you. Um, and again, these shades, that's a nice feature rather than having the drapes. Lots of storage up here too. Oh, I want to call it lots, but slide room controls, TV antennas, uh, your satellites and other things would go in here, your satellite receiver and your Blu-ray player. Um, this coach has also been upgraded with a newer inverter, uh, the Magnum inverter. So, nine hundred and ninety-three hours on the generator. So, again, this coach has been well maintained and gently used, you might say. Um, so, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the subscribe button and. We'll get another one out for you here in a couple days. Thank you.